Hello, 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 welcome back to Spoonie Games and part 5 of Sound of Drop Fall into Poison. And when we were here last, we just turned into a jellyfish because I decided to run straight through, which apparently was bad. So I guess the only other option is no, I can't think of anything. Which also seems bad to me. But I, I guess that's all we can do. No, I can't think of anything. I'm becoming panicked if I don't calm down with my thoughts swirling around so frantically. I'm getting even more confused. It's just a vicious cycle. And my sandals are getting dirty. And you know, jellyfish. This isn't the first time that occurs to me, but regardless, it's my only clear thought. The puddles of water are gradually drawing closer, and I can't feel anything from the strange jellyfish. I feel my heartbeat speed up in my chest. Oh, speed up as my chest starts to hurt from nervousness. At this point, I have to run through without worrying about my sandals. Though they are sandals, the soles are strong. As long as the jellyfish don't jump, I probably won't get stung. Little by little, the safe spots are diff disappearing. I tightly pull my legs together, which makes me stagger. Cut! I let out a small scream and straighten up a bit, with nothing behind me to lean against. I'm just about cornered. Wondering if I'll die of jellyfish poisoning, rocked by waves of blinding nervousness and fears. I carelessly entertain that line of thinking. My meter gauging my fear must be full tilt. I think with cool self deprecation familiar man you from earlier huh the sudden yell confuses me oh god <laughs> he's back for revenge uh, upon looking in the direction of the voice I see that the door has been thrown open and a man is standing there Shoot, why are your feet exposed? Ah, I ca it can't be helped. That's definitely the dude from earlier. The man we had called names is now gently removing his shoes and tossing them over to me. My mind races as I catch them. They are thick soled boots. Put those on and make your way over here. All the jellyfish floating there have deadly poison. Be careful. Take off my sandals and put my feet into his boots just as he tells me to. The size doesn't fit at all, but they are way too big. But not so big, I can't walk in them. Cautiously take a step and confirming sort of right, take my second, then third step towards him with my sandals in one hand. Thank you very much. Now it's going to be like, DIE! throw us in there or throw them on them or stab us I, I don't trust him you can thank me later for now don't look around just come towards me I know my breathing is increasingly rough and I get a little embarrassed however knowing some concessions will have to be made I walk through the water and over the jellyfish when I step on a jellyfish, I feel the squishing sensation through the shoes and shudder. There are shards of glass in the puddles, and that makes me want to think of your friend for being considerate enough to lend me such strong shoes. Oh, not your friend, that dude even. Getting names mixed up now. I can walk the remaining meter. He seems fairly close. 
Adjusting my breathing, I carefully take the remaining three steps. Ah! There is no mistake, in my carelessness, I have overlooked a transparent jellyfish at my feet. Even though I can't see it, I can clearly feel it. And the baggy boots I'm wearing throw off my balance. At this rate, I wound up. I will end up on my butt if I fall now. All of the help I have received will be for nothing. Watch out! Jellyfish! However, my body is supported by some strength that pulls my back. Pulls my me back, even. Uh, as his hand hit, right hand has grabbed my uh, left wrist. It was a close one, just like that. I'd been pulled out of the room with the broken tanks. As soon as I was out of danger, he gave me a mighty pull and shut the fire door. This is it's the front of the souvenir stand. More importantly, why are you here? He steadies me against the wall in front of the souvenir stand. The terror from the moment ago hasn't escaped through the heavy... Or hasn't escaped through the heavy, dark, grey emergency door. Isn't this... Isn't this the Manten Aquarium? Besides, before I met up with you, I... There was so much. Just stares at me in my flustered state. Uh, I, uh... Right, calm down, Miu-chan. A weary grin appears on his face, and he motions in front of the souvenir stand before sitting down. Today I have nothing but bad memories in relation to the floor, so I merely lean against the wall. Yeah, evil floors. Uh, the gacha machines are still there, but the whole lineup is now new, and I don't know a single one of the products. Loading, doing something. We are new chapter. Oh. Uh, funky music's back. Well then, have you calmed down a bit? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm glad, and you can call me by my first name. I don't really care about who's older and who's younger. Uh, were they all the same? Like okay, a middle one. Um, what is it you know about this aquarium? Jeez, I told you that you can call me by my given name. The wary grin appears again, but there is nothing I can do. I have some hesitation about actually calling an older guy by his given name, and I've only heard his name once, so I don't really remember it. After that, he makes a serious face. I think of him as a light-hearted person, but as his mouth straightens, his face seems very focused. Well, it's fine. At any rate, there's only one thing I know. This is Manten Aquarium, but it's not Manten. But it is not Manten Aquarium. What do you mean? What? This is Manten Aquarium, but it is not Manten Aquarium. Do we have like a multiverse with the aquarium? I guess it makes a little bit of sense considering we opened a door for one of our deaths and just like was in the ocean. It's not Mantan Aquarium? Something like that. 
I don't know the principle or the cause behind it, but this Mantan Aquarium is on a distant time access from the one you and I have visited earlier, Mayu Chan. That's what I think. I can't think of it as anything else. A different time? Oh, great. We're time traveling aquarium people. Whether past or present, you could even call it a parallel world. What I said, multiverse type thing. I can't understand what you're saying. Not in the least. How do you know this? That is... Mumbles and snorts and looks my way and smiles bitterly. Mayu Chen, didn't you meet any friends or acquaintances from long ago? Huh? On the contrary, you didn't see any staff or other customers, did you? His words seemed very enlightened. I couldn't think of a single thing. After all, I had just come from the experience firsthand. However, there was something that bothered me as well. He had said long ago, Mari, Mari, who hadn't changed since that day. But then why? I don't get it. That's that bit about a long ago. Therefore, I rejected it. In doing so, I could affirm the fact that I had reunited with Mari. Is that so? Seems I said something a bit strange then. Oh shit. Time traveling multi-dimensional aquariums? This is a little bit odd. As he looks away and says this, I have no response for him. Staying like that for a moment, he says, by the way, and continues speaking. I think what caused the glass in the jellyfish tank to rupture was the expansion of gas from something within the tanks. So the gas expanded and ruptured the tank from within. We are thinking about the cause, right? Since there are no staff in the space-time distortion. Of course there are! Just you guys randomly running around. You don't get, like dimensional janitors or aquarium staff then it's not tr strange for the oxygen modular here to break down and it wasn't the work of ghosts no no ghost ghost is going too far <laughs> calm the hell down don't want a ghost talk <laughs> interdimensional space aquarium my murmuring he had no answer even if we have to f force ourselves we should think positively right for us to have come here and there to be ghosts is not something I can take <laughs> yeah you can take the fact that it's dimensional moving weird aquarium thing that you've been to lots of apparently so you've probably done this loads that's I'm still putting him as the murderer or evil person can we get back to our original time axis or something like it we can get back definitely so so yeah I'm of course he knows how to get back. He's been here lots. He didn't seem weirded out about the whole being somewhere different. Yeah. He's definitely up to something. So he asserts decisively without looking at me in the eye. Once again he starts the next topic with a quick, by the way. 
That girl that was with you, the one who seemed into the occult and stuff, what happened to her? You mean... Friend name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, her. Weren't you together? I inflate my cheeks without thinking about it. When he notices, I become embarrassed and look down. I rest my hands on my knees and moving them up and down say, I don't know. Uh, you're pretty easy to read, Mia-chan. Got into an argument, did you? It has nothing to do with you. Still, you do get that there is something foul about this aquarium, right? Mei-chan, you experienced that yourself. At his words, a pang of pain surges through my chest. The room with the rotten corpses. I wish you would stop calling them dead fish. Rotten corpses sounds like you found people. The room with the dead fish. The sudden cracking of the tank and the jellyfish booth. When I think that, that the same incidents could have happened to your friend, I instinctively leap up. Speaking honestly, I have no desire to see her face. But knowing that the whole aquarium is dangerous, I can't calm down. What ifs? Imagining possibilities alone makes me want to cry. Wait a second, Mary Chan. You must be tired from all that's happened. Moving quicker than I do, hand holds me back. I'll go look for her for you. I'm more knowledgeable about this place. You wait here. Yeah. Inter interdimensional person stealer. As he says that, he gives me a thumbs up. It was a mystery to me. We had only just met today and had an inconsequential conversation, so I wondered why he had come to rescue me he was even showing concern for my friend he was supposedly a total stranger so why um without hearing my response he starts walking away from where the jellyfish booth was his face in profile made me feel very reassured Hmm. Ah, oh, I don't know. Part of me is like, if he goes because of if he is evil, killy, murdery, kidnapping person that I think he is. Sending him after her is probably a bad idea, and it also makes, like, we begin to trust him. Or at least, like, building some kind of friendly relationship because we are letting him do that. But then if we go, considering the luck we've had, <laughs> trying to go back together, dead, run through jellyfish, dead, wait, I'll go possibly dead hmm. he is knowledgeable but if he was evil he could have just killed us and not giving us his boots but maybe he wants to do it ourselves ourselves himself even bring that up again uh, uh, yeah. please trusting in his masculine appearance I bowed deeply in reality it was as he had said I have very little stamina to begin with and now fatigue was building up inside me to stay ending to stay standing up was good as these heavy legs of mine were proof of 
as things with my friend. It would be best to talk them through later. If we talk them over in this tense state, we would probably just get into another argument. That dude might even serve as our mediator. As expected in this gloomy building, he didn't have to walk far before he disappeared. The sound of his gradual fading footsteps had also disappeared. The only thing that I could hear nearby was my own breathing. That's why that high, roaring, screaming pitched right through my eardrums. What? It was a scream that seemed to echo through every corridor. No in and out of the whole building. It wasn't just someone shouting, but someone crying out as if splintering apart or splitting apart their throat. At the sense of impending danger that voice bore, my own throat began to tighten. That scream? That voice wasn't merely familiar. It was the voice of uh, the dude who had been right in front of me just one minute earlier. After that single loud scream, I could no longer hear his voice. Dude! Yeah, we're just calling him dude. I quickly stand up, running to the source of the scream. This place connects the tube tunnel booth and the souvenir shop. That's where I heard this voice coming from. I ran towards the tunnel tank. Huh? Mayu-chan, I told you to wait there for me. More importantly, that scream a minute ago, did something happen? It's sitting at the entrance of the tunnel tank, not far from the aquarium entrance. At my question, he gives me a wishy-washy reply of you were worried about me I'm so happy nah it was some sort of embarrassing story but it looks like there was a person floating inside the tank under the circumstances it just surprised me a person in the tank speaking of which my friend mentioned something like that, but I'm glad. I thought you'd gotten caught up with something, some terrible situation like I had earlier. I was relieved from the bottom of my heart. Following that relief, I became aware of my own fear of being isolated again. Chuckling, he scratched his head. Say, Mayu chan? God damn it. <laughs> I trusted you, dude. Never got to hear the rest of what he was going to say. Huh? It all took place in a matter of seconds, leaving me unable to make sense of what happened. However, I gradually realized what was unfolding before my eyes. From dude's neck I could see through to the tank. I didn't understand what I was seeing. In other words, his head was no longer where it should be. Oh, it was him, not us. Okay. Having lost a piece of himself so valuable to the human body. Yeah, just a bit. He collapsed slowly on the spot. From there, he never moved again. Soaking up the blue lighting, his reddish black blood spread across the floor. And now you're gonna freak out! No! This time it was my turn to split my vocal cords. Why? How had he gotten like this? 
what could have happened to him to have left him in this state. His head trembles along the ground and catches my eye. <laughs> he gives you a wink. His eyes are wide and his pupils dilated. The grin I had seen hours earlier still spread across his face. Face, even face. There are marks at the nape of his neck as if his head had been bitten clean off. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be answering. I intended to run. I intended to run and leave the dead dude behind. Whatever left those bite marks was still nearby, but I couldn't do it. Oh, we're going to die as well. It hurts. The area below my knees has become pitch black. Our boats, mom. There is no pain, only the visualization of pain running through my mind. In spite of losing my legs, I can't actually feel the pain. Of course not, that body of mine has lost its legs. I'm watching it from a separate place. This subjugated point of view would have been impossible while I was still alive. My head was already just like that dude's. Just rolling on the floor. The cold temperature of my blood, that was the last thing I felt. Right before I lost consciousness, I saw its unbelievable true form. Through the wavy mist of fading vision. Or oh, through the wavy vision. Freed. Ah, I can't even speak. Yeah, wavy vision. You saw it. With many fangs and a giant body, it was a fish. We got eaten by fish man. Decapitation one. I'm not having much luck with these choice things. Uh, but going alone seems bad as well. Have I just, like, gone into the ultimate wrong place and I'm going to die either way? Please wait. I'll go. I feel like getting decapitated by a fish. Somehow moving my heavy legs, I follow behind him. It would have been easier to leave him, however, is my best friend. I can't believe we fought this... That reality can't be changed, so I want to go get her. Since the souvenir shop is near the entrance, he heads towards the closest tunnel tank. If she is still in the building, then we need to look everywhere for her. I'm able to catch up with him before he enters the tunnel. I'm going to. Hey Mio chan I told you to wait there for me. I can't do that. She is my friend. On hearing what I said, he gives me a patronising look while grinning at me. Looking into the tunnel from the outside, I realise it hasn't changed from the Mantan Aquarium I'd seen earlier that day. Large fish like manta rays and sharks swim about. This is an aquarium. The tunnel tank. If you two went in order earlier, then shouldn't we start with the first exhibit? I nod at what he'd said. It was right. He adds right and walks on. And then gets fished. I notice something there and pull him back. Look over there. I say as I point to the area nearby that's visible from the entrance. As the silhouette becomes closer or clear on closer observation, I become frightened. Something hops freely from side to side. It bounces about the tunnel numerous times, then stops itself. 
After bouncing up and down on the floor several times, it ceases to move completely exhausted. Straining my eyes from far away, I can see that it is a fish. From what I can see from 10 meters away, it has sharp fangs and a body that as thin as a rail. That might be a cutlass fish. <laughs> we should get a better look. Nothing bad's gonna happen there. Oh, we just head straight inside. All right. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> save it, but also stop it here because knowing my luck so far, <laughs> even if I think about it, Heading straight inside seems bad. Getting a better look seems bad. Both of them, I guess maybe looking, seeing that it's evil, and then going away rather than heading straight inside and then potentially dying anyway, because that's literally what we did last time. But yeah, we'll see how well that goes next time. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.